So friends, today in this video, we are going to see what are the colligative properties. So colligative properties are shown by the liquid solutions. The solution which has definite volume but it does not have definite shape are known as liquid solutions. So the colligative properties are uh, lowering of vapor pressure, osmotic pressure, elevation of boiling point, depression of freezing point. These are mainly shown by non-electrolytes. Examples are urea, glycerin and sucrose. Now the applications or the advantage of the colligative property is that it is used to measure the molecular mass. It can be also used to check whether the solution is isoosmotic or not or the solution can be prepared are isotonic solutions or not. Now we are going to see what are ideal solution and real solution. So ideal solution are when the adhesive forces are greater than cohesive force they are known as ideal solutions. Now for homogeneous mixture there should be no escape, escaping tendency. In real solutions cohesive forces are greater than adhesive forces and they have the escaping tendency. Now what is es escaping tendency? Escaping tendency is the tendency to separate out from the solution means cohesive force should be greater than adhesive force. Now solution is defined in terms of Raoult's law. What Raoult's law states? It states that the partial pressure of solvent in solution is directly proportional to vapor pressure of pure solvent multiplied by its mole fraction. So this is the formula. P is equal to P Vs 0 X. Now P is partial pressure. P Vs is uh, vapor pressure of pure solvent and X is the mole fraction. This is the further derivation of Raoult's law. Now we will see what are the deviations. If the deviation is positive then co cohesive forces will be greater than adhesive force. If the deviation is negative then the adhesive forces will be greater than cohesive forces. A pressure. Because of the solute solvent interaction, higher concentrations of non volatile solute make it harder for the solvent to escape to the vapor phase. This is this pressure is called as vapor pressure. So the vapor pressure of solution is always less than that of pure solvent. Now we will see what is the lowering of vapor pressure. So P is equal to P0X1 where P1 is the partial pressure, P1 0 is the vapor pressure and X is the mole, uh, mole fraction. So this is the further derivation of lowering of vapor pressure. Now what are the methods to determine the lowering of vapor pressure? So first method is manomeric method. Second is isopistic method. Third is Hill and Blades method. Fourth is Vescor vapor pressure osmometer. So manomeric method is used to determine the vapor pressure of solute and solvent. Isopistic method is the method in which there is equilibrium of both vapor pressure that is standard and sample and at the isopistic point we determine the vapor pressure. Hills and blade. Hills and blade are used for determining the potential of pure solvent. Vescor vapor pressure osmometer thermocouple is used and potential difference is calculated. We're going to see what is elevation of boiling point. So the graph is plotted that is vapor pressure versus temperature. We have took three different solution. So one is of pure solvent, other is solution one and C is solution two. So this is vapor pressure of so pure solvent, vapor pressure of solution one, vapor pressure of solution two. Boiling point of pure solvent, boiling point of solution one, boiling point of solution two. Now further we are going to see what is the equation which is derived that is at T is equal to Kb W2M1 upon M2 W1. So Kb is epiloscopic constant or molar elevation constant. Delta T is the elevation in boiling point. So Kb it is defined as the boiling point elevation which is produced when 1 mole of the solute is dissolved in 1 kg of the solvent. And the methods to determine the elevation of the boiling point are Landsberg-Walker method and Cottrell's method point depression is same again we have to plot a graph that is pressure versus temperature and further we derive to an equation that is delta f is equal to kf p01 minus p upon p where kf is equal to cryoscopic constant or molar depression constant and the two methods to determine the depression of freezing point are ras camphor method and beckman's method osmotic pressure the solvent passes into more concentration increasing its volume that is lower to higher 
the passage of the solvent can be prevented by the application of pressure and this pressure which prevents the transport is called as osmotic pressure now we are going to see what are the laws of osmotic pressure so for dilute solution and non electrolyte solution it should obey the gas law what is ideal gas law that is pv is equal to nrt nrt the pressure is replaced with osmotic pressure that is pi so pi v is equal to nrt we can also write n by v is equal to c that is concentration so pi is equal to crt where r is equal to universal gas constant and that value is instrument which is used to measure osmotic pressure that is osmometer which measures the external pressure which is applied to prevent the osmosis now for determination of the molecular weight based on the co colligative properties there are three methods varying of vapor pressure elevation of boiling point depression of freezing point and these are the equations by which we can calculate the molecular weight of a compound to so friends agar aapko meri video pasand aa rahi ho then do like this video share with your friends and subscribe to my youtube channel to milte hain agli video mein till then take care this is shrenik jain peace out